Greetings and welcome to City Skylines Deepford episode 28. So, previous episode, tsunami, you know, they wiped out like three quarters of the city. As you can see right here, the uh, the uh, area is rebuilding slowly, it's, it's getting back there. But today is the pickup day. Today is the day we come and we try to figure out what the hell went wrong and how to fix it. Now, one of the downsides is we cannot fix the problem here of early warning because we have a warning boy right there, right there, and we can't go that way because we cannot buy any more land in that direction. So we could buy that way to land there, and we will do that later. It's a bit more we can afford right now, and maybe get a little tiny bit more early warning out here. But they always come that way. So unfortunately, whoever designed this map didn't think the idea that you would build on the end PC as well. So that's uh, fine. We have got some flooding going on down here for some bizarre reason. I think it's just the flood water going back out from the tsunami because obviously that water has to go somewhere and then it has to flow back again. Ah, it happens. That's what happens. Uh, but it won't be from this water because this water is nicely being controlled by a dam. Yeah. And that dam up here, by the way, is making power. It is making 112 megawatts of power, which is great. Less fuel for us to worry about. Okay, so, but we have a lot of problems right now. Most of the problems are uh, low land value. Not quite sure why we're in low land value. I mean, you know, if anything happened recently. Power problems over here are actually not power problems. They are actually uh, more problems with the power cables not having ends anymore. They will uh, reconnect at some point, and then horrible cables like that can go away maybe if this we don't worry about. It. But yeah, those are just cables that will get repopulated over time, but once their buildings are rebuilt in their areas. We do have this problem here, like this guy here. I built my house. I'm going to start complaining about power problems because I didn't think ahead. But uh, you can't help those people. They're just they're unhelpable. All right. So full speed. Let's see what we've got to deal with. We can actually, what can we actually work on? Well, we can't do anything about the flooding, but the flood waters are indeed still traveling down the river. Here, look at that. Yep. It's definitely uh, tsunami waters receding down the rivers. So that's uh, good because it means it is going away. You see the, the grass is coming back to being invisible again. We can actually see the edges of the shops now. And then this area that was complaining about flooding is no longer complaining about flooding. It's getting there. We have a lot of complaints about police, uh, lack of police. Even though you have the police, it's just more... We haven't got the number of vehicles on the road we'd like to have right now. But police coverage does appear to be actually pretty good for the most part. Good. Our fire coverage, fire coverage is a bit low. But again, that's down to the number of engines because, like here, one engine's there, it just can't get around the old building. But we can get budget up again, we'll get the budget up again. Uh, do we have that tower still? We do, tower's still there. I'm sorry that actually survived. I mean, when the hospital got taken out, I thought they would get taken out as well. Medical facility wise, we have enough death care around the place, and hospitals, coverage is there. It's there. So we're not doing too bad on the main coverage. The school-wise, we did lose a couple of schools out this way. The two schools here did seem to survive. That's quite okay. And the high schools, okay, they survived. But over here again, this place is quite a beating. And we're getting more flooding down here as well. Yeah, so so we have lost some major infrastructure buildings, but that's fine. We can we can deal with those. Be missing. We have got the game at full speed now to help the water recede away. We can start building stuff again with the uh, kind of critical infrastructure side of things. Okay. Ah, I would say thank you, auto save. I just saw the message just disappearing up the top corner there. Okay, so this school here is in need of power. It is going to complain all the time about lack of power until we get it. So let's give it a little bit of a temporary boop power boost. I just want you to be online so that you can start accepting students again and get them back into the schools. Immediately, 250 students in that school because schools are important to get people back on their feet again and get them making the infrastructure work properly. Now you start complaining about low land value for the most part, apart from you, but you're just a winger. You guys are pretty much start complaining about low land value, which is great. That means the parks are working again. Now it's still complaining about the lack of like parks and services, even though we have all these parks and services in the area. Not what I can do about that yet, it's just them complaining about being complaining. What are you lots over here? You are facilities I don't actually need to worry about. Police station, uh, fire station and uh, crematorium. I yeah, don't need to worry about you, you'll put power as things build out that way. And you're the emergency shelter, which works out so well for everyone. And forestry is doing okay. <laughs> and you're, you're actually doing okay now. 
Okay, so the biggest problem really is land value in this area, but that has seemed to be going down quite happily. Okay, so land value is recovering. That's good to see. And industry is good. Industry is recovering quite nicely. All the traffic problems seem to have gone away, you know? <laughs> and the farms are growing. Okay, I think everything's actually just regrowing. It's a matter of just waiting for things to regrow. Which actually I'm quite happy about. I mean, we lost a fire station there, but uh, we can rebuild that later. Not a major issue. And um, money's coming in at 700, 600. Can people move in? People are moving into the city. Why is that money going down? There we go. Money's going back up again. So I would like to see how it's being built. And we are getting these big cities building it first, which actually I thought would be quite odd. I would have thought that the uh, the, the rural areas over here would have built up first. But we want to be replacing these in the medium term with uh, big high, res high residential densities like these places over here. Alright, so can we look at these stats on this? What is your actual land value right now? Uh, blue is not too bad, white is bad. So these areas are classed as white, and then there's blue. There's no greens in the city, green's the best value. I would have thought people over here would have got green, you know, that my house didn't get burnt down at all. My house didn't get flooded by uh, tsunami, that kind of stuff. But, eh, fair enough. Noise pollution problems. Not too bad in the housing areas. Actually really good in the housing areas. Uh, we have pollution. Again, not nothing in the housing areas, which is good to see. Traffic. <clears throat> I still think this traffic is a bit uh, weird. Traffic float is 89% though, that's not bad. Good. Uh, this is actually um, density usually. So we have traffic flowing, we're slowing down here, but that's just because it's industry time, I'm guessing. And the, and the air gets really confused about what to do here. I mean, logically that'd be a straight piece with no turn, but uh, the air does get kind of confused at that point, if you look at it. Can we do anything about that? Whoa, what the hell happened to you? I don't remember it being like that before. That looks, that, that looks really, really bad. You know what we'll do? Boom, 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 Give me the highways. Two lane, one way. That would be you, right? Upgrade. Yes, that's you. All right, we connect you guys up because if we reconnect you, that should solve the problem of whatever the hell is happening here. Okay, that seems to have solved the problem of whatever the hell was happening there. <clears throat> yeah, straight ahead now. That was just that was just that was just stupidly odd. But anyway, that solves that kind of weird wobbly problem. They appear to be fine, so whatever happened there, I have no idea. I wonder if it got like, destroyed and then rebuilt, maybe? It's possible. It is indeed possible. Hey, we have a helicopter. What do you actually do? We have a road there. I haven't seen you actually use a single vehicle yet. I don't know. But land value is coming up, so don't complain about it. You just moved into the house. Stop complaining. And... Yeah, okay, we've got some money coming in. We can actually start putting services back online. This is going to be mostly just a, a waiting and recovering episode, so I'm going to be darting around a lot. If you want a building episode, you have to wait till next time around, I think. If we're going the way we are, demand's really low, but it is going to start popping back up again as uh, the buildings get done. But we can start upgrading some of our services now. Now, you are complaining about low land value. What is your main concern? You're not complaining about low land value. You are complaining about land. What, what is your main uh, low land value, raise land by ability. No, you don't need to tell me what the problem is. You just say, I've um, got a problem. Alright. Well, let's look at the city as a whole. What is the biggest problem? Over here, we have policing problems. Okay. Let's get the police behind. Maybe it's just a matter of their, uh, you know, they're, they're, big, they're big complaining because of that. Where's my police budget? Give me a nighttime police budget of 100%. And a daytime police budget of 100%. And we'll just see if that will uh, knock his budget into the negatives or not. It may very well do, we may have to reduce it a little bit, but at least we get much police cars on the on the roads if we can, because that would be helpful. We are in the negatives, but if it doesn't go too far in the negatives, I can leave it like that. Uh, anything else we need to up on this? I don't think we've had any real issues on any of the other stuff right now. Uh, we are losing money, but nowhere near as much. Wow, it's happening here. We're getting a lot more flood water going through this still. I am really surprised that the flood water is still coming down here. I mean, it's, you can see it here, but it's where it meets up against you. I'm really surprised that's still happening. But, yeah, look at that. Loads of police on the streets right now. Get the place nice and safe. And immediately, we haven't, we're not, losing, not making money yet, but it's not like minus 10,000 like it was originally. 
So I'm happy right now with that stats. What's our actual stats like? 4,000 children, uh, 9,000 teens, 13,000 adults, so yeah, young adults, seniors. Yeah, so we're not doing too bad on the population regrowth. We've uh, kind of built ourselves back up again slowly. Where's that? Lightning rods. Yeah, every house has lightning rods to help stop the fires and stuff. That's not too bad. We are losing a lot of money right now during the daytime. Let's have the police budget up at night. There. And you know the fire department? I feel like the fire department should be up during the day. That's just that's just a personal feeling. That, that should be that should be behind during the day, right? Because Yeah. Yeah. Go! <laughs> away, helicopters! Fire engines away! Yeah, but that really, that just ups the number of engines we have. Hopefully enough to sort of keep the fires down. Although you would have thought that the... What the hell is wrong with you over there? Are we actually got... Oh, are we actually get to the point now where we're bringing in so much... Yes, we have. Okay. We have to up our water budget now. To 70% and 70%. And... Thank you. Right, so we can put out on the water and power problems right now. We can turn our fire down once this fire's been dealt with. Because we don't get that many fires in these areas, you know that. Could you guys put the, the tree out? The thing that's still burning. The, the handful of trees. Thank you. And the one over there. You want to put that one out? No? Just leave that one alone, are we? Uh, it's within the range of that, that building. There you go. Putting the final tree out. And then we can put the fire budget back down again. Because, quite frankly, that doesn't want to be that high. But maybe down that far, yeah. Put the fire budget right down. Um, please budget up at night, just to keep the uh, the nighttime law and order up and running. You know, you get the idea. And make some money. And get people moving in. If they feel nice and safe and comfortable during the night time, they might move into the city again. That's the thing that really does happen in real life. Okay, so over here we're actually doing okay. Uh, education wise, we probably should have more students in the system. Make more higher paying jobs and stuff, but... I don't think the game really molds that part of the thing. So we're fine. We, 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 we're good. What's happening over here? How's our, how's our prison doing? Two, Three of two vans are out there. Criminals are... Yeah, okay. So they, they, they're doing their jobs. Um, Road's doing okay. A little bit of QE, but nothing major. Generally... Hopefully that's just got a white top on that now. <laughs> There's some queuing forming here, but uh, it's not affecting major traffic problems right yet. Um... We should really have it so the roundabout itself has high priority. Would that screw it over? I can't remember if that screwed it over in the past. Priority road. So that should, in theory, mean that the roundabout moves first, the feeding roads move second. Um, it looks like that's what's happening, and yeah, we get a lot more cars coming through. They still can't understand how to drive themselves, which is really annoying, but uh, yeah, hopefully it doesn't back up there. We'll keep an eye on that road for a moment. If it backs up there, then we'll have to deal with it. It's starting to back up there. But yeah, I mean, was it back up here a little bit as well? It's nice because I have like a, a logical system of, of thoughts. But ha, there we go. Thank you, autosave. Look at moving. They'll they'll sort themselves out right now. We have bigger things to be doing. We don't really. What the hell? Have we always had this kind of problem over here? Because I don't remember this kind of issue on the traffic here. Wow. We have thought a lot of these places out. I wonder if it's just like a big influx of new shops and thus no new delivery vehicles, maybe? I don't remember this ever being an issue. We'll come back to this area after a little bit of recovery time. Garbage is starting to pile up now. Okay, budget time. Little increase to the garbage. Uh, we were at 100%, so no. Little increase nighttime budget for the garbage. There we go. Um, I would like to bring the education up a little bit. Parks definitely need to come up to help people with the low land value problem. Give me a daytime budget of 100% on the parks. And a small increase on the daytime budget of the uh, of the of the hospitals. That should hopefully uh, well, well that education wasn't it? Hopefully that'll help us out. We're night time now, so we should start making some money at night because we're not putting it, the all budgets are low at night, apart from the police because um, our police budget is high at night, yet and low at day. Everyone else is high during the day. 
and should hopefully allow them to uh, keep... Why are you still flooding over here? What, is it you? Are you letting surges of water out by any chance? It is possible you're letting surges... The Coast Guard is warning of a tsunami approaching the area. Residents should avoid roads and waterfronts. A tsunami has struck the city. Take caution and avoid roads and waterfronts until the water recedes. Um, yeah. Okay, tsunami 2.0. Um, I may need to turn the natural disasters down. I do have them at above average and I'm, I've got a feeling we might need to turn them down for some recovery time period, do you think? Okay, I have these buildings set right now to evacuate. Um, I just don't think they're going to get there in time. And once again, I think it's just a losing battle at this point. Dun, 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 dun. Can I move that into somewhere I can keep an eye on it? Can I move that somewhere I can keep an eye on it? Can I move that somewhere I can keep an eye on it? No. Okay, you stay over there. Ah! Uh, you stay there, and we'll pretend we're paying attention to you, right? So it's, it's actually here. The 13 people that made it inside the shelter, I kind of want to see how many of them die this time around. Here comes Tsunami, Tsunami, Tsunami. Here comes a tsunami. Uh, let's actually save ourselves some problems here. <whistles> Budgets down to the bottom because we just don't have the money to spend and we're losing money again. Uh, buses are well down. Uh, a tsunami has struck the city. Water and power. Take caution and avoid roads we'll and keep water those levels until for the now. water recedes. Full speed. Camera mode. Camera mode. Okay, it's a smaller tsunami than last time, but I... <laughs> hey, about. But I definitely think we need to be looking at uh, turning the tsunamis down a little bit. Otherwise, we can't recover. And then once we recover, we can probably leave it down a bit uh, for now. Oh, go tsunami, go! Go tsunami, go! Actually, how many people did survive in there? Ten survived in there. Nice. We have also got a shelter over here. Um, there. Where two people have made it so far. And people are ignoring my request for evacuation. They're still driving on the roads. Well, they were warned well ahead of time. Oh, that flood water back there. <laughs> we are at full speed right now. We're just waiting for the tsunami to pass through the area so we can continue with our builds. A tsunami has struck the city. Yep. Take caution and avoid roads and waterfronts until the water recedes. We are spending a lot of money on things we really can probably turn down now because a lot more disaster issues are being dealt with. Let's keep an eye on that cast level. Cast levels are going to be killers to us until after this is done because it's going to wipe out our commercial area. It's our industry you can't run. Roads are stuck. No one's complaining about lack of water. Funny how that works, really, isn't it? Um, but yeah, okay, you're slowly passing through the area. We should move a bit faster, though. But, uh, yeah, you are going... Actually, look at the water back here. Look at that. This is where the tsunami boy is sat here going, Ah, there's something coming. I see a big wave coming. And that's why, I hope that's what's triggering the secondary of tertiary alerts. Because if you look here, there is definitely a, like a swell of water here. So, yeah, it's just something that's happening. The floods up, up to the land here. tsunami has struck the city. Take and that water is going to come from there, downstream. The water I've been recedes. flooded down here for a little while. Where's the main tsunami reached? It's reaching Chattooka Bay. Beach. Well, it's a bay now. <laughs> Come on. We've got power problems over here. You know, it's actually a power generation issue, but you know what? It's not going to be an issue for very long, let's put it that way. Look, you have power. Look, you don't need power. <laughs> oh, that's just bad. Here we go. Do, do, do. Oh, no, these buildings will collapse. I mean, they should collapse, shouldn't they? Let's switch to the camera mode, shall we? I'm actually really surprised they haven't collapsed though, because we had a lot of collapses before. Maybe these ones are made of sponges, so they just grow when they get wet. Now once this passes here, I'm safe to say we're not going to be affected by it anymore. And we can probably start just looking at our budgets, because right now we have to worry about cash issues as well. But... A tsunami has struck the city. Take caution and avoid roads and waterfronts until the water recedes. Indeed! Now the water has basically receded. Uh, it is going to reverb and come back, but it shouldn't be an issue on this part of the land. It's mostly a problem down there. So back to full screen. Keep an eye on these places when they do. Can, do you actually have anything right now? You have vehicle. What do you? What the hell do you do? I need to look into your capabilities. I've never seen you do anything. 
other than be on fire, you know. Um, we got some flooding over here, flooding there. That's fine that we're pumped out slowly. Um, the hospital survived this time around. Crime's up, garbage is up, lowland virus up. And we got all the things there, good. We got you abandoned buildings, we got you flooding because the water's going back now. There we go. And almost clear with the tsunami. Now, how are we doing on the disaster shelters? The tsunami has struck Stop, the city. Take Six people in that and one. Avoid roads and waterfronts until and the water recedes. Ten in that one. You know what? Release the civilians. If we release the civilians, at least get back to work. Because right now, that's kind of our big issue: is getting them back to work to make some money. We are making some money, but look at our budget, how close it got. So we have to be, be very, very careful on this. Dun, 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 dun. We got some flooding on the edge still. The waves are still sort of coming back and forth now. They're meeting each other again here. That's going to cause a little bit of flooding in this area. There'll be spread it flooding. And this area is going to be quite badly hit because this obviously this area here is uh, in its own right quite low down. Give me the budgets. I need to put a little bit more power out there for people. Because they are uh, right now saying low power here. And I think that's just a power generation issue. Uh, no, it's actually your out of power range issue. Oh. No, oh, someone's built back into the area. Which one did you build into? Which one did you build into? It's not there. It's not there. It's not there. Maybe it's just technically close enough? Oh. Yep, yeah, it's, uh. What was coming back again? See, that's the thing about tsunamis, they are like a two hit thing. They hit you on the way in, they hit you on the way out again. But uh, we're fine. I'm just waiting for that to say it's no longer a tsunami. And we can uh, change the setting down back to like the default levels, maybe lower. Garbage collection. We have to put the garbage collection budget up again. People are starting to complain about that. So garbage. And that's actually going to be good for us because if we can garbage up, that's power generation. So that'll be useful. Turn it up to 65%. 76%. That's a lot more garbage trucks on the on the road right now. Yes, yeah, a lot of extra roads. They all start producing power, which will really help out with the uh, power problem we're having. And we should then not have to worry so much about uh, our, our electric bill. And this guy up here, you're still producing a lot of power for us. Good. Everything else does appear to be pretty decent. Tsunami is gone. Yay! Let's have the report, please. Uh, 2,287 population lost. 365 buildings. Okay. Well, we are losing a lot of money right now. Um, and I have to turn the garbage down at night, I think. Just to help make the money. And then put it to 60%. 70, 60 70% during the day. Um, we could do it some pol uh, policing to really help out. I did have my police up a bit higher at night. Just to kind of help out with, with the requirements there. That's all I can really do. I can't really go any higher on that. But the disaster is over. So we can go into the options. We can go to MISC, I think it is. Nope. Game Gameplay. And we can have a look at my setting, actually. I've got down here, random disaster frequency. Let's put it back down to, for now, I'm going to lower it down to a third of normal. I had it at 150%, roughly. Drop it right down again. Just give us a chance to rebuild this city, because this city needs time to recover. It can recover, it just needs the time to recover. So we are making some money. <clears throat> what are we like on loans, by the way? Uh, we have one loan out right now, which is... Uh, yeah, we got to 44,000 to pay off on it. Which is a lot of money we're paying out to it, basically. But we need that money to come through. We have the budget set up properly. Um, we can... We can put on the tax, we can put the tax right down. On uh, high density, it's nine percent right now. It's one percent right now, and get people into the city quickly. Hopefully, I get people moving into the city pretty damn quickly. One percent tax. We're gonna lose a bit of money. We're losing way too much money. I was hoping. I was hoping. Make it eight percent. Come on, budgets. Why is it going? No. Recover. There we go, we're making money. So, we got power problems again. <laughs> All the way through the problems. More power generation there. Give me... Where's my waste? I'll just put that up. If we can get those up, 
to 100%. Like that. It's a lot of money, but it might be able to save on power generation at that point. But so hopefully we can get more people to move into the high density buildings by lowering their tax rates a little bit more. Give me 7% tax rate and 8% tax rate. Commercial industry. Industry's not done fared too badly from it. Commercial wise, also not fared too bad. So we can leave the commercial industry fine. It's just the residential stuff and also we need to put up some budget in the water supply. Because the uh, business over there are complaining about water right now. There they go. And there they go. They're happy. We are losing money. Um, hopefully we can bring people in quickly. Come on, build your houses, people. Because hopefully if we can get uh, you guys producing power again. Because you actually produce 12 megawatts each right now. Which is really good. We can look at our power distribution. We're producing way more power than we need right now. If I were to say, just out of curiosity, drop that down and drop that down all the way. Where's our power production? Yeah, with power that low, we're down to these guys producing all of our power and they're doing really well. But to just bring it up a little bit, do, do, do 54%. Okay, a bit higher, maybe 60% each then. How's that for power? Power is just inside the green, so that's going to help us with our budget. Our water is okay, our power is okay. These guys are going to be producing more and more power as the trucks get out there and do their job. Uh, police is definitely needed, but that's the nighttime task, right? Police at night, 100%. Garbage at night can go down to zero. I don't need garbage control at night, that's fine. And that means we can move the budget back and forth between the day and night cycle. Yes. Um, parks, I would like to get the parks up during the day, but it may be a financial issue. Because if we get parks up, that'll bring the land value up. Because that will really, really help out. See, the land value now slowly coming back up again in these areas. And if we can keep those high, it will help people move in. Also, we have a fire here. Uh, there is a fire engine on site, so don't worry about it. Okay. Generally speaking, I think we're on the mend. That last tsunami was a bit of a pain, and I wasn't really expecting one that quickly. But uh, it's, it's, it's happened. It's a thing that happens. So when night time comes, the police will be running around the city. During daytime, the garbage trucks are running around the city. I think that's a good uh, good mix of uh, vehicles to have running around, don't you? Yeah. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think of the, uh, the situation. We have, of course, got our tsunami uh, response team back again. But until next time, comments in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.